Hey, I saw someone spray paint a belt on TV this week, Kev. Did you ever see that before? Get shut the front door. What I the? swear to God, somebody took out black spray paint and spray painted a belt right on it, right on that that center plate. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, man. Spray paint. I well, let me just say, I'm, I'm, I, I'm working. I'm working on this show. It's going to be black and white. I'm a bus driver. I got a wife named Alice. Mm. To the moon. You should set it in like Brooklyn. It will be. Okay. Yeah. A little one we have like a, apartment some neighbors. Thing. Yeah. So I see the segment and uh, good promo, intriguing concept. CM Punk still has the old belt. Never lost that belt. So. I dig it. Like, I dig the storyline. And and then the paint comes out. And I have that, like, oh, oh moment. And I'm thinking maybe there'll be, a, like, a verbal uh, homage or something. Nothing comes. This is, this is, like, an original production here. So I go, maybe this is me. I'm out of touch. Fans love to tell me that I'm out of touch with current wrestling. Maybe this has become a thing. Maybe it either started with Hulk, or maybe there was shit in Memphis where belts were being spray painted, uh, uh, tagged for ownership. Uh, I I looked, I can't find one, Kevin. It was Hulk, and that was it. Now fans will tell me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I couldn't find it. So I'm like, no, it's not a thing. It's homage. Do we call it homage, Kev, or or does everyone just have a I don't believe we, we are to accept that everyone has a short memory just because of the NWO and how the merch, I mean, they sell the spray painted belts still. So I don't think we're to expect that nobody remembers. Maybe it was homage. Maybe it was looking for a mention from some of the uh, folks in the NWO. What do you think? So that would be a fail if Tony was looking for a mention from some of the uh, the old NWO folks. That's called not putting it over. Okay, this is if this is Wrestling Handbook One Hundred and One. That's that's the zero cell. That's the zero cell to be used when you are the victim of a rib and you want to take some of the steam out of it. The zero cell comes in, and times like this. Yeah, I just I, I didn't see it, so I didn't I didn't have a. Um, I have. I don't have a, a, an opinion because I didn't see it. Well, you saw it twenty five right. years ago. Yeah. Well, I seem to be effective then. So. Right. I mean, it's in in Phil's defense. It's like I think that you. I think you can grab that hold after twenty five years. You know. Well. Something, so, but it's so iconic. It's not a hold. It's King Kong on the top of the Empire State Building. It's the, which they've it's done the airplane. So, they've done what four times now. It's the airplane <laughs> above uh, in North by Northwest above Cary Grant. It's uh, oh fucking he made it disappear too. That, that I like that. That well, that was the trick. <laughs> he 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 unpainted it. Uh, that's that so that's completely David Copperfield. All right, well, listen. So, but so if that's Kevin Nash's position, people look to Kevin for his opinions here. If that's your position, that hey, I don't have. A, you know what? I really don't have a problem with it. It's an arm and bar, if, and it can if, be used. If anybody, if anybody, um, if it sparked, um, I would be, I would be more uh, in, in, entailed to think about. When Sean and Razor had the IC belts, and Sean got suspended, and they put the belt on, they had a tournament. Scott won it, and then we went to WrestleMania 10, and we had the both the belts up there. And then, you know, all right. right. Well, it's, listen, it's, it's, yeah. it's a non-issue. That it's it's a straight, but it's straight. I mean, it's straight, I mean, it's straight edge. It's his game. I mean, it's he he, he you know. Marks his uh his tape and he is on I, I saw him I saw the uh do you watch the show Heels? No. On Stars? No. 
That's God, the one by. So I um, watched the first episode last night of the second <laughs> series. I it was. I might have had. I think I had a stroke, but it was. It started out where they were having a match, and this girl ended up winning a ladder belt, a ladder match, and it was the two brothers fighting each other, and then it went to the brother getting shot. Or no, the, the the brother going to his house and the dad had killed himself, which was the end of last season, which was it, it just it, it wasn't it wasn't timed. It was it was fucked. It was, I, I don't. I just I just I looked at my wife and I said, "You didn't see last season, so I can't explain." I said, "But this doesn't chronologically. It just doesn't fit." I've never watched it, so I don't know. I'm I'm very wary of. Anything with a wrestling con, uh, fiction well, wrestling I, I, content. I, I, li- I, I liked last season, and the director is Pete Siegel that did long, uh, the Longest Yard remake. So I, I'm, okay. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a friend slash fan of his. Stephen Amell, that's, he's the star of the show who was the uh, Arrow, who wrestled Cody Rhodes in WWE. Mm-hmm. Uh, he came out and was very adamant against the strike this week so he'll be having a cage match with ron perlman pretty soon well, for Drescher, at least ron perlman has been like he's he's been the uh he's been been very righteous for uh well listen the the no one wants to be on strike i mean anyone comes out against the strike but we were joking earlier about ai and what you can you could do with permission with AI now, and th- there have to be safeguards about what could be done without it. I mean, even when I would do voice work and we would, when we're looping a film, and we would do a clap round if there was a something going on on screen in a, in a concert hall or speech or whatever, and there was applause, we did a few rounds of applause. They can go to the library for that, but it was always like, Everyone in the room was like, we're not going to go to the library. We'll, we'll record it. So, um, yeah, now with AI, it's just... Uh... So the quote from Stephen Amell is, I support my union. I do, and I stand with them, but I do not support striking. I don't. What power do you have other than that, though? It's a last resort, but... You don't. That's, I mean, it was always... The, the, that was the clicks, you know, motto when we sat in the, the, the van that we go up and down the road. We'd be like, you know, the only thing we, we can do is is hold our work. Like once you go out and do the match and then you bitch, you ain't got you got nothing. Mm-hmm. But and, it, if, and it's if the you, last if resort. You, yeah. And if you've got if, in the car of five guys, if you've got three of the seven matches, you got some stroke. Yeah. Not that we ever, you know, we never even hinted that we would do anything, but it was just that we knew. It's just like having a loaded gun. Do you really want to, I mean, do you really want to argue with the guy with the loaded gun? No one wants just to assume, fire, just assume, but... Yeah, just, just, just assume to avoid the situation. Or the state of Florida in general, <laughs> with your uh, your perm, your uh, concealed carry permit. Yeah. Um, Adrian Street. Right. Died. It's hard. It's harder. It's it's harder to carry a colossal bag than there's a firearm in, in Florida. State of, state yeah. of Florida. 